Hello? Hello, yes, Hello? this is Jeff from the front desk. Yes. We've had a slight mishap. Uh, we have an overbooking situation. Uh, there's some kind of a computer glitch. We have a bunch of pilots coming in that uh, have booked a block of rooms, and your room happens to be in the middle of that, so we're going to need you to move. You're going to need me to move at 1 in the morning? Well, yes, sir. Where do you need me to move to? I would just need you to move down towards the end of the, the same floor that you're on. They they can't take that room? Well, they have a whole block of them, and yours is kind of in the middle of it. And Well, I understand that, but I was a flight crew for years. I don't know why they can't just take a room at the end of the hall. You're asking me, I'm a, I'm a gold member of your rewards program. You're asking me at 1 in the morning to pack my crap and move down the hall? Yeah, what, I think that's totally ridiculous, sir. Oh, well, of course you do. I mean, it's an unusual circumstance, but what does a gold member have to do with anything? Well, I use you guys a lot, and this is the kind of thing that would piss somebody off and make them not want to use you. That's well, what I'm saying. I mean, it's an inconvenience, I understand, but it's just, you know, you well, pick your I don't stuff understand up and why down the a couple just doors and then you're back the and It's pretty simple. I mean, do I have to get a manager on the line? Would you like to talk to my manager? No, sir, you don't need to get hostile with me. That's fine. I just don't understand why he can't move to the end of the hall. Well, yeah, but they're all going to be partying and going to be loud and obnoxious. You know how pilots get. Okay. They're on wine. They've been flying all day. They have the stewardess. Well, what, what do I need wine. to do? Do I need to come down there, or can you bring the room key up here? Um, hold on. I can get somebody to help you with that. Hello, sir. This is Jeff. I'm the manager of the hotel. How can I help you today? Hello, Jeff. Uh, I just wanted yes. to know if I need to come down there or if somebody's going to bring me a key up here. I'm um, sorry, I don't understand why your attitude is being so difficult with the situation. It's not a big deal. Um, I, you I are haven't actually really taken a hostile attitude yet, but it is 1 o'clock in the morning, and I have to leave at 4 for the airport. You guys have woken well, me up. I, I understand that, sir, but my employee informs me that you're being very rude with him. No, so, I wasn't rude with him at all. I just explained that I, I stay in hotels all the time, and this has never happened to me at 1 o'clock in the morning. So you're expecting me to call one of my employees a liar. What do you mean? Anyway, anyway, sir, it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Maybe my employee well, no, what, is what a liar. I asked him, what do I need to do? Do I need to come down is, there and get a room key, or is going to bring yeah. one up here? He's very rude to me. He's like, I'm a gold member. Look at me. Da -de -da. Uh, uh, sir, I don't understand why you need to flash things around as if it's so... No, I'm, look, I'm not trying to flash any... You, you, you guys are completely misunderstanding what I'm trying to say here. Sir, this is the not the reason I mentioned. Look, let's put the whole thing to rest. Do I need to come down there and get a room key, or is somebody going to bring one up here? That's all I asked. Um, um, sir, what you need to do is you need to come down here. You need to ask for Jeff, which is me, and I will give you the key. But what you need to understand is you can't just go being a name dropper and saying that you're like a gold member when you're not. You're, and I'm checking the computer right now, and you're trying to claim something that you're not. You, you realize that's fraud. That's like a Class A felony. Fraud. This is yes. absolutely. You I'm know what fraud is, sir? Do you okay. have Google? Oh boy, sir, I don't understand what the problem is. What? what I don't wrong? understand either, sir. Do you have knee pads? If when you come down here, could you just put them on before you come down and save us all some time? Wow, this is unreal. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, right. listen, listen, come on, sir. Down. You're sir. the next contestant, sir. sir. I tell you what, we can work something out, maybe. Um, instead, since the pilots, they are VIPs to us, and they're very valuable to us, maybe between Nick, the front desk guy that just called you, and you can just work something out, because just between me, you, and the law here, Nick actually like likes guys. If you just want to get it over within 10 minutes, maybe you can get the knee pads ready and just get it done and over with. Won't be a big deal. I won't tell nobody if you won't tell nobody. I am I'm, I'm, uh, Sir, I'm not trying to be difficult. This is okay. unreal. But sir, nobody's gonna believe you if you try to tell them otherwise. So just cooperate and you know, maybe we can just get this done and over with. It's not gonna really? take long, trust me, Nick doesn't take very long. He's he's like a minute man or something. Okay. Can, this is, is unbelievable. That, this is do you want to do that, sir? No. Sir, it, it won't no. take very long. No, don't worry about it. You know what? Don't sir, worry about it. Are you sure? Come on. Hey,
Damn. <laughs> that dude was sure. What do you need me to do? Blah blah. I'm 